Welcome to the Virtual College Exploration for All Pennsylvania Students, sponsored by the Pennsylvania Association for College Admission Counseling and StriveScan. PACAC is a nonprofit association comprised of more than 1,200 school counselors, college admissions counselors, independent educational consultants, and other professionals responsible for guiding students through the important transition from high school to post-secondary options. Thank you for joining us today. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your, your questions to presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the full schedule at pacac.org. This presentation is also being recorded and will be available within about a week at the same website, pacac.org. And now I'd like to turn it over to our presenters from Virto Education. Hi everybody, thank you for that kind introduction. Uh, my name is Daniel Marion, I'm with Verto Education. And if you don't know, Verdo is a super unique organization that basically offers you the chance to study abroad freshman year of college, travel the world, take classes in different countries, and at the same time, get full college credit and set yourself up for college success. So just to start off, I'm gonna share my screen here. I have a video, a little bit about who we are as an organization. So I will answer all questions at the end, but if you have any questions during the presentation as well, you can start asking. Basically, as I mentioned, Verdo is the only organization that lets you go abroad freshman year. You can take classes that will fulfill core requirements, potentially classes for your major. A lot of our programs are very affordable, much, generally much more so than most colleges. And through us, you can also apply to our partner colleges for free. So it's a lot of information, but I hope, hopefully I can explain this to you well. This is a little bit of our college pathway. Um, if you're interested in Verdo, you can apply to us and you can apply to our partner colleges. We're partnered with al almost 50 institutions, including University of Vermont, Temple, Bucknell, Muhlenberg, let's see, Goucher, uh, William and Mary, James Madison. I'll show you later the slide, um, but we're, we're partnered with many different colleges throughout the country. And through Verdo, as you can see, number one, you can apply to these schools for free. It's a very easy process. You fill out a Verdo application and some, submit some academic documents. You generally, within a few weeks, you'll hear back from these colleges and you can get accepted to great schools on the condition that you'll spend a semester or two traveling with us and taking our classes abroad. After you do Verdo, you will attend these, this campus. Uh, and most of these colleges have in place programs to receive Verdo students. You can have a Verdo roommate. You can go to a second semester orientation. And we have Verdo alumni clubs at different campuses. It's not a gap year. College credit you, you'll receive with Verdo for all your programs, 16 credits for one semester, 32 for the full year. This slide is fun. <laughs> I don't usually do it just because I feel like in 2020, if you're like me, you're also probably very eager to travel. But just to go by it briefly, there are a million reasons why traveling is great for you, especially freshman year of college. We've seen our students do our program freshman year go to a place like London, Madrid, Costa Rica, and in the process just learn so much about the world, about themselves. Maybe they discovered a new skill while they were abroad, potentially something like photography, or maybe they got really into local dance. Um, 
but we see our students basically do Verdo and then arrive on campus really much more motivated than the average student and with a better sense of what they want to do during their college career. Here are our three pillars. Pillar one, we just we really think Verdo is the best and most fun freshman year available. Uh, as you can see, we have two types of programs. With our field semesters in particular, we really uh, use experiential education as a model. So in Latin America, in Hawaii, in South Pacific, you're not just going to a classroom every day, but actually with your professor, you're out in the field. Let's say one day for environmental science, you might be working with animals in the outback in Australia. Or uh, in, let's see, in Dominican Republic, you'll shadow doctors for public health as they give lectures to the community members. Um, everything like that, a lot of interviewing community members, learning about indigenous traditions. They're really amazing classes and you're constantly on the move for these. We have very small classroom sizes, typically six or seven students to one professor. And we have lots of resources available for students, advisors. We bring in lots of local experts too, that we pair with our professors to teach the curriculum in a very engaging, interesting way. So these are the semesters that we're offering next year. Let me quickly see if there's any questions so far. Okay, all good. Our on-campus semesters are a little bit more traditional. So with these, you're in the downtown of the city you'll get a Metro pass so you can travel around the city as much as you want. We can link you up to local clubs and activities. So if you're interested in something like dance, for example, we can help you find local dance groups, or maybe you wanna join a club soccer team. Our staff in, the, in, these, in these locations will be able to basically help you do your activities that you normally do, but in the, this new context. With London, you live downtown, right by the London Bridge. You, you can choose from this list of courses to take. Uh, as I mentioned, you'll have an Oyster card, the, the pass to use the tube. We'll do fun excursions with you to places like Stonehenge, to the Royal British Museum. Your classes are in a, right by University of London. And on the weekends after the program, you're welcome to travel independently as well to other parts of the country or other parts of Europe. Milan, in Milan, our program is partnered directly with the Universita Católica. So you'll have a Verdo roommate, but you'll share a suite with, you'll share a kitchen, a living room with eight, eight to 10 Italian students. And Italian students can also join some of your classes here that will be taught by Verdo professors in English. If you wanna learn Italian though, we'll give you a crash course during orientation and we'll give you resources to study it while there. Again, you get a Metro pass. Um, we'll do fun excursions in Milan, go to the opera one night, go to an AC Milan soccer game, go to the place where Parma, that Parmesan cheese is, is named after to basically learn the process in which it's made. And for your classes too, you'll do very special activities. Madrid is also in downtown uh, in the financial district. Again, you'll have a Verdo roommate, but you'll live in a dorm with Spanish students. It's great for practicing Spanish. If you've taken Spanish in high school, want to improve it. Again, we'll do these different activities on the weekends. Um, you'll have a lot of independence as well. Let's see, Madrid, one thing about Madrid is that you'll have a meal plan uh, that covers every single meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And the cafeteria, from what I've heard, is really, really good food. <laughs> Huge lunches, especially multi-course meals, and the students really love that. So field semesters are much more adventurous. Um, they are guided. So if you're someone that's more independent, the campus semesters in Milan, London, Madrid might be a better fit. But if you're someone that loves maybe the outdoors, loves non-traditional experiences, I think field semesters would be the better choice for you. 
And with these, again, you're traveling week to week with a small group of students and your professors. And instead of going to a classroom every day, you're actually going to local places and doing activities that have to do with your classes. So with Hawaii, our students spend eight weeks on the Big Island and four weeks in Maui. Uh, you'll live part of the time in a ranch, part of the time in a hostel, and part of the time in a, sort of like an eco lodge. So you'll split up and spend four weeks in Hilo, four weeks in Kona, and four weeks in Maui. For your classes, you'll do some amazing activities, environmental science, um, you go snorkeling, learn about environmentally friendly farms and industry there. A lot of hiking, checking out the volcanoes, learning about the science behind them. For other classes, this is either English 101, English 102. And for anthropology and the sociology course, identity, politics, and equity, you really learn a lot about the Hawaiian native people, their history, their culture. You'll have language workshops. You meet a lot of different activists, learn about NGOs that do great work on Hawaii and go really in depth in the history of the island as well. And as you can see, all meals are included, all activities are included, and housing's included in tuition. So here's, I'll just play a little bit of this. This is a little bit of what Hawaii looks like. <laughs> Go full screen again. So Latin America is split between Costa Rica and the Dominican Republic. And for this semester, you'll spend four weeks in the Dominican Republic where you take global health and eight weeks in Costa Rica, split in two different areas. Torrealba and um, in San Jose, the capital. So for your classes, you again do amazing fieldwork activities. For global health, you'll shadow doctors for part of the time. You do some amazing service projects that help the communities uh, draw maps for community members to find resources. And we, we, we show you all around the island too. In Costa Rica, we take you to a lot of different places. You meet indigenous Costa Rican groups, learn about their culture and traditions. You live on a farm for part of the time and learn a little bit about farming practices. For fun, we have lots of different activities such as zip lining, rafting, going to the beach. Here's something really amazing that our students love. Uh, we go to a turtle sanctuary on the Pacific Ocean and our students actually get to see baby sea turtles as they make their way to the water for the first time. This semester, Fiji, New Zealand, and Australia has been our most popular. You spend four weeks in Fiji, four in New Zealand, and four in Australia. And here you can see the classes that you take. So much to say here. Um, in Fiji, you live with host families. I forgot to mention, but you do in Costa Rica as well. And that's an amazing opportunity to just learn a lot about the local, local people and their customs. In New Zealand, you take a sociology course and learn a ton about indigenous uh, Maori people. And then in Australia, you take environmental science where you work with animals in the outback, go snorkeling near the Great Barrier Reef, 
visit the world's oldest forest and do lots of amazing trips and activities like that. I'm gonna play this video. This was made by a Verdo alumni student who spent a year with us in Latin America first and then South Pacific in the spring. So if you're interested in Verdo, you can go with us for one semester or the full year. And if you do the full year, you'll have to choose two different semester locations. Sorry about that. there. I meant to pause it on this uh, slide with or this this part of the video where you could see um, the Lord of the Rings set. We take our students on the Lord of the Rings trail and you see the the basically what's supposed to be the Shire where the hobbits live in the movies. It's a really cool part of the trip. Another super memorable part of the trip is that students visit this cave in New Zealand where, where there are glow-in-the-dark worms. I'll quickly show you what that looks like. It's really incredible. It looks like outer space. So back to the slideshow. Yes, so th that pillar one is all about your travel experience with Berto that you'll do freshman year. And I want to quickly say too, to address concerns with coronavirus that we uh, are very up to date on everything happening there. And we have many different backup plans basically prepared for any scenario. Cautiously, we're optimistic that by this time next year, travel will be resumed. Hopefully there'll be a vaccine and we'll have made a lot of progress. But basically if something does go wrong, we're prepared uh, you can switch locations, you can defer your Verdo semester to the spring, you can go straight to the partner school. There are lots of options that we would offer you, but I just wanted to address those possible concerns. Pillar two is our partner colleges. We're partnered, as I mentioned, with almost 50 colleges in the US. Typically, you can apply to Verdo at the same time that you apply to partner colleges through our application on our website. Within two to three weeks, you, you can receive decisions from both us and our partner schools. Many times applying through Rado can uh, increase your chances of being accepted to a school. Doing this type of experience really can set you apart from students with a similar resume. There are also benefits for colleges in accepting you second semester or at the start of sophomore year. They can track how you do with Rado. And our colleges know us. They know that our students that we send them tend to have much more passion, more maturity, more of a worldly view because of their radio experiences. This is what our application looks like. This is page two. And as you can see, we'll ask you on page two, which college, which colleges you're interested in on our list. And as a quick note, you can also apply to non-partner schools and pair them with Verdo. Not every school will take our credits, but we've had success transferring our credits to many schools in the past, especially with public state schools. They're more likely, I would say, to take Verdo credits. But if you're accepted to a non-partner school and you want to do Verdo, we'll work with you in 
talking to their admissions department about your Verdo semester, the classes you take, and helping you hopefully receive full credit for your Verdo semester. Here's a bunch of our colleges. We also have a college counselor on our staff who can work with any interested student to help you figure out what colleges might be a good fit for you of our partner list. So I'll leave this up for a second. Lots of flexibility with Verdo. You can apply to up to five schools for free through your initial application. You can also reapply at a later date Sometimes students with a lower GPA will want to do Verdo for a semester or for the full year. And then, um, so midway through their freshman year, apply to schools, if, especially if they're able to get good grades during their Verdo semester. You can also just commit to Verdo and take more time to figure out what you want to study, what you might want to do, where you want to go to school, then apply after your Verdo year. So Verdo does tend to be more affordable than most colleges. Um, of course, our semesters vary in terms of price. So South Pacific, for example, is the most expensive before scholarships at $25,000 for the semester. Uh, our most affordable before scholarships is a tie between Latin America and Spain at 15. However, we do have many different scholarship opportunities First of all, FAFSA will transfer to our programs, uh, 529 plans, some outside scholarships too you can use, but here I'll go over a little bit of our, our, our scholarships that we offer. We have this opportunity grant, which is need-based. So here you can see if your income is below 125,000 per year and you show us some form of documentation that like tax returns, maybe FAFSA documents that show that, you'll be awarded with a 5,000 scholarship. And uh, if your household income is below 65,000 per year, you'll be awarded with a $10,000 scholarship, making the cost for Latin America 5,000 and for Hawaii 10,000. And this is before FAFSA. So if you receive a Pell Grant that's worth a little bit more than 3,000, for Latin America especially, your total cost of attending for a semester in Latin America with meals included, activities, housing can be just under 2000. Again, this obviously depends on your level of need. This is an amazing honors program that we're premiering. It's called the Change the World Verdo Honors Program. You can read about it on our website. Basically with this, you'll commit to a full year with Verdo, you see a full year with Verdo. In the fall, you can choose to either go to London or to South Pacific. And in the spring, you'll go to Latin America. It's a very competitive program. You can apply between now and December 1st, and we'll let you know December 15th, whether or not you're accepted. It really is, we're gonna put you in groups of 20 to 25 students, and we're trying to really mold this, these students that are part of this honors program as young leaders. So your classes will really have a lot to do with global issues as well. Climate change, war, racism, huge topics that will connect to what you're studying. And there's a lot of amazing benefits and perks to this program, including a guaranteed summer internship right after your year with Verdo. So here you can see the, a better picture of some of the costs in Verdo. Before any scholarships, here you have this, uh, here are prices that go range from 15,000 to 25,000. I forgot to mention too, we do have a merit-based scholarship, the International Leadership Award that you can apply for. That can be worth up to 5,000. And for early enrollments, people who enroll in Verdo before December 10th, we have a thousand dollar scholarship as well, just for committing early, showing your intent to do Verdo. Change the World Scholarship, this, the most amazing part about this is that we'll offer half-ride scholarships to students that do this program up and for families with an in household income up to 250,000. And I believe for families with a household income, I'm gonna have to check my notes, but I think it's below 125,000. We'll have possibility of 
75% to full ride. Great. So that is basically my presentation. I can go into more details about anything that people might have questions about. If you have any questions right now, please let me know. You can uh, fill out a question in this little Q&A tab and I'll, I'll see it and be able to answer it. While I'm waiting for questions too, I'll just show you on our website, looks like this. If you go to our website, here you can see our free application. You can see on the right, we have information about our honors program, about all our semester programs, partner colleges, scholarships, You can see more photos from our programs, some of the places students have been. So I do have this QR code. I, don't, I haven't tried this myself, but I think it should work if anyone wants to try scanning this and you'll be, I guess, receive on your phone or whatever you scan it with more information about our different semesters. Okay, well, no one has questions. I could show a few videos or I'm okay ending early too. Let's pull up something from my YouTube. Here we have, uh, I'll play this. So I'll play the rest of this video.
This is from our staff in Fiji. They made a great video for our students that come to the South Pacific. Hello, Lover Tattoo Explorers. Welcome to the South Pacific. We would like to share with you this musical performance put together by our amazing team of virtual program leaders. Enjoy! Rora! Welcome to Fiji! Ooh. We have a lot of videos on our website. We also post updates to our Instagram. I th cool. Well, if no one has any questions, uh, please look us up on our website. You can email me with questions too, if you'd like. My email is just daniel at vertoeducation.org. Um, and yeah, if you fill out an application on our website, just start it first page. We'll also have a counselor reach out to you via phone or email. So there's lots of different ways to learn more about Verdo. And yeah, we, we're happy to, if you go to our website, we, you can ask little questions, questions in the little box in the corner. Someone will answer them there. All right. Well, thank you, Daniel and Verto Education. Um, thank you all for joining us today. When you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick four question survey. We appreciate any feedback you can provide. Also, a reminder that this was just one of many sessions being hosted by PACAC, so be sure to sign up for an additional session at PACAC.org. And in about a week, you'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all of the other session recordings at the same website, PACAC.org. Thank you.